The Buckeyes always lose a boatload of talent to the NFL. Who will replace those superstars in Columbus? Welcome to the Voice of College Football Buckeyes. Please like the video, share these videos out on social media. If you enjoy the content, others will as well. Subscribe right here. Hit that bell for the notifications to know when we go live. We would like to continue to bring you the best in Buckeyes football content here at the Voice of College Football, highlighted by our weekly live stream where we answer your comments and questions with Steve Hellwagon from Bucknuts 247 Sports, Kevin Noon, and Tony Gerdeman from Buckeye Scoop every Wednesday right here at the Voice of College Football, 1.30 Eastern Time. All right. This is according to Athlon's, their top five newcomers to Ohio State, and we've added a few of our own as well. Would love to get your comments, of course. All right. Let's start out with a no-brainer. In the transfer portal, from Oklahoma State, all Big 12 safety, Tanner McAllister. 42 tackles last year, 123 in his career. He's played 41 games in the Jim Knowles defense. So that's the caveat. Not only is this guy an all-conference performer for one of the best defenses in the country last year, but he's got 41 games of starting experience. And, of course, Jim Knowles is coming in from Oklahoma State as well to run the defense. So he can not only lock down his position from a talent perspective, but he's going to know it start to finish. And then he's going to be able to coach other players and help them along in the teaching process of the Jim Knowles defense. McAllister is very, very stout against the run. And again, will be a teacher of sorts on the field. The second uh, offering by uh, Athlon Sports is a tight end. And this is a curious selection on the surface. Bennett Christian, in the 2022 recruiting class. All right, if you go down the Buckeyes' fourth-rated recruiting class in the country, Bennett Christian is not one of the prized recruits. So why is he on the list? Well, Ohio State continues that factory line of tight ends to the NFL, Jeremy Ruckert being the latest. Kate Stover's moving from offense to defense. So Ohio State thin at tight end. Bennett Christian, the 20th-rated tight end in the country, a top 40 player in the state of Georgia, number 411, according to 247 Sports at 6'6", 240. And Ohio State with a prolific passing game and most of that coming from the wide receivers on the outside and in the slot will not necessarily need Bennett Christian or whomever at tight end. And Jeremy Ruckert was not a prolific receiver, not because he wasn't capable, but they didn't look for him in the passing game and utilize him as such. That's just not the way at Ohio State, but they need run blocking first and foremost. And again, 6'6", 240, caught 35 passes in his high school career, 518 yards and four touchdowns. Bennett Christian at tight end. Next up, we've got quarterback Devin Brown in the 2022 class. Curious selection as well. But then again, C.J. Stroud, he is entrenched as the starter, of course. Devin Brown may not even be the number two player with Kyle McCord, a tremendous player and prospect, uh, most likely is the backup quarterback. But looking ahead to 2023, Devin Brown wants to position himself to take over for C.J. Stroud. Devin Brown, the sixth-rated quarterback in the country, top-rated player in the state of Utah, a top-50 player regardless of position, Threw for almost 8,000 yards and 85 touchdowns. You see the stats below. And again, setting himself up for a rush to the starting quarterback position, possibly in 2023. Devin Brown, one of the top five newcomers for the Buckeyes, according to Athlon Sports. All right, the next two players, these guys almost come as a tandem. The last time Ohio State had a dynamic superstar player on the defensive side was Chase Young. Now, when was the last time Ohio State had a dynamic All-American type player at linebacker? Was it Raquan McMillan? Maybe not even him. He would be the latest candidate. It's been a long time since Ohio State was spectacular at linebacker, but they've got two possibilities here. And if either one of them, let alone both of them, live up to their five-star billing in year number one, Ohio State could be the national champion. You've got C.J. Hicks at linebacker, the number one rated linebacker in the country. Top rated player in the state of Ohio, a top seven player according to 247 Sports. He's being called Captain Buckeye because he not only signed with Ohio State, he is getting others on board at 6'3", 215. 
Then the other guy is Sonny Styles, a legacy player at Ohio State. Of course, his father, Lorenzo, was a top-notch player on the defensive side in the early 90s in Columbus. He reclassified so he could play college football in 2022. Top-rated safety in the land, may move to linebacker. He had 88 tackles in his career with six picks, 6'4", 215, second-rated player in the state of Ohio, a top 12 player. So the Buckeyes get two of the top 12 players in the country, both on defense. They may both immediately make an impact. And uh, some be- believe already that Sonny Styles would be uh, a perfect fit for Jim Knowles' Leo position. All right, that's the top five according to Athlons. We offer up a few more here. Possibilities would be also on the defensive side with Ohio State needing help there. How about edge rushers? Even though the Buckeyes are stacked with young talent there, you've got two of the top six in the country coming in in the 2022 class in Kenyatta Jackson and Amari Abor. You also have, of course, Chip Tranum, Another transfer portal addition played on the offensive side at running back at Arizona State with over 400 yards and six touchdowns scored four catches out of the backfield, but moving the defense. Steel Chambers did it successfully in 2021. How about Chip Tranum, who obviously, if he's running for 400 yards and a key piece in the Arizona State attack on offense He knows that his future in the NFL is at linebacker. He's coming to Columbus. He could be a key contributor as well. Athlon's top five newcomers to Ohio State. We've tacked on three more. Your thoughts below right here at the Voice of College Football. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell for the notifications to know when we go live. Join us for Buckeyes Live every Wednesday at 1.30 Eastern Time.